Hey guys, so today is an exciting day. I finally got a full drop in motor swap for my bill. Um, originally, I did say I want to go 2JZ, make some gangster power, but the price on them now is, is too crazy. It's skyrocket. It's like 8,200 bucks Canadian from the importers, and then I gotta buy stuff on top of that to make it work. And that, that means a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money, so pretty broke. Bought a car hoist, buying all this crap for my car. I just want to get the car running by next year. So realistically, uh, this ad came across, somebody selling a motor swap. So I was like, fuck it, I'll, I'll do it. Get the car running, good enough. All right, so check it out. There we go, SR20. Yes, I know it's the SR. They're old motors now, but that's what I can afford for now. Pretty much um, comes with a whole lot of crap, everything. Let's start off with this. We got a rat nest of shitty harness, just extra. They give me a two clutch, and there's a brand new clutch. He told me to switch it out. Bunch of garbage there. Extra transmission mount. We got a baby little intercooler. That's getting replaced. Extra alternator, um, starter. We got a radiator with some fans on it. That's getting replaced. I have a coil rod for that. And I'm gonna get some spa fans for some nice cooling. So that's gonna get replaced too. We got all this, all this junk. Got a dry shaft. That's the good harness. I don't know, we got that Powered by Max color transmission. Yeah, I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna definitely clean up the motor a bit. Gotta repaint this valve cover. Supposedly that's a legit oil cap. And the goodies over here, we got the tow mine exhaust manifold. I don't see any cracks yet. Seems all right. And a tow mine elbow. And that is a tow mine down pipe. And then we got ISR blast pipe. I'm getting rid of that. I want a quiet muffler. Uh, that's, that's gonna be too loud for me. And then uh, some more ISR pipes. And got a Megan test pipe. Probably keep that. This ain't no crazy bill, it's just to get my car running. But overall, I'm pretty happy. Got that tow my elbow. Ugly orange transmission. You're getting painted. Valve cover's getting painted. Blocks gonna get cleaned up. I guess the owner liked the blue. So we got the blue uh, pulley set. Block was painted blue. Everything is painted blue. Not really my thing, but I guess I'll go. Blast, somebody blast some black paint on there. So, I mean, it is what it is, right? But for the price, and I don't have to go around scavenging for parts, I think I can work with this. I really like this side. So yeah, supposedly the motor been rebuilt by the previous, previous owner. And then the last guy who owned it, that sold it to me, he, he changed out gasket and such. So supposedly it has like 60,000 kilometers since the rebuilt. So he got me a throw out bearing, brand new one. He said the one in it right now is making noise, so he picked this up for me. And uh, yeah, this car came with the Link G4 Plus uh, ECU. Um, supposedly this car had been tuned by Ashley Evans at a Rev Performance here in Calgary. So let's see what this is all about. I don't know too much about this, but it's not a stock ECU, so that's cool. Yeah, a brand new clutch. This is fresh. You give me like two clutches or three clutch. Got this one that's new. Don't think I need that. Another clutch in here. Clutch for days, man. This guy's going LS, so he give me all his SR stuff. What is this one? Exeti. And here's the harness. Um, wiring, not really my specialty but can always learn how things work. So you did tell me I need to figure this out and wire it into my harness. So I got a buddy that's gonna help out with that. And that, supposedly this harness is clean. 
I might just clean the harness up myself and make it look tidy. But we'll see when I get to that point. Came with the oil catch can. Might keep that, it looks okay. Short shifter, that's all right. Got tons of parts here though. The guy gave me quite a bit of stuff. Got the ready blow off out. Thing looks cool. But yeah, all the intercooling, I'm gonna have to make my own pipes because I got some fat tubs in there and I wanna make it look clean and tidy. So, got the welder fab it up and that'll be a learning experience also. But yeah, these ones are not gonna work. Yeah guys, so uh, that's the update on what's going on. Just wanna let you know, uh, it was pretty, pretty exciting to have a motor in my possession now. So when I get to that point, I can pick at it and do some stuff to it. And hopefully one day uh, learn how to build an SR motor and make a little bit more reliable power. Uh, I do want to track the car eventually, so I think the SR would be a good option because that is the original engine for these cars in Japan. Um, makes the car really balanced. And I'm gonna beat on this motor, so we'll, we'll see when we get to that point. But uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, more updates, guys. Take care.